One of the leading causes of injuries worldwide is falls. So whether you slip off a step ladder or you trip on a curb, a hard fall can be serious and it can be difficult to get immediate help. Well now, Apple Watch Series 4 can detect a fall. It's interesting, identifying a fall may sound like a straightforward problem, but it requires a tremendous amount of data and analysis. We conducted studies with thousands of people over a long period of time, and we captured data on real world falls, and we learned something. We learned that with falls, there's this repeatable motion pattern that happens. For example, when you trip, your body will naturally pitch forward and your arms will go out involuntarily to brace yourself. However, if you slip, there's a natural upward motion of the arms. Well, these are motions Series 4 is ideally suited to recognize. With a new accelerometer and gyroscope, the watch analyzes wrist trajectory and impact acceleration to determine when a fall occurs. And after detecting a fall, Series 4 delivers an alert. And from that alert, you can initiate an emergency call. However, if the watch senses you are mobile for one minute, it will start the call automatically. And it, it also sends a message with your locations to your emergency contacts using the SOS feature that is already built into Apple Watch. Fall detection is a feature that we hope you never need, but it's really nice to know it's there. The optical heart sensor has been essential to Apple Watch from the beginning, and it allows us to calculate the calorie burn during your workouts, it allows us to determine your, your resting heart rate, and it it's also powers the high heart rate notification that's helped Apple Watch become an intelligent guardian for your health. We wanted to do even more in this space and so we're announcing three new heart features. First, a notification if your heart rate appears to be too low. Now generally, a low heart rate is thought to be a good thing, but if it's too low, it might mean that your heart's not pumping enough blood to the body. And that could be a sign of something serious. And now, Apple Watch can detect it. The second feature is related to heart rhythm, and this is a big deal. Apple Watch can now screen your heart rhythm in the background, and it sends you a notification if it detects an irregular rhythm that appears to be atrial fibrillation. Now, it won't catch every instance of AFib, but we believe this is gonna help a lot of people who didn't otherwise know they had an issue. The first two features, they're powered by the optical sensor. The third feature is made possible by a new electrical heart sensor on Series 4. We've added electrodes into the back sapphire crystal and the digital crown, allowing you to take an electrocardiogram. <laughs> It's, it's otherwise known as an ECG, and this is the first ECG product offered over the counter directly to consumers. An ECG measures the electrical activity of the heartbeat, and it's used by physicians to help diagnose uh, certain heart con diseases and, and other conditions. And so now you can take an ECG anytime, anywhere, right from your wrist. You just open the app and you put your finger on the digital crown. To show you how this works, let's take a closer look. The built-in electrodes in the back crystal and the digital crown, they detect electrical impulses from the heartbeat. They route them to the S4 chip, 
which converts them to signal for our algorithms. The entire process takes just 30 seconds, and at the completion of the ECG recording, you will receive a heart rhythm classification. If your heart is beating in a normal rhythm, the app will classify the measurement as sinus rhythm, and the app will also classify atrial fibrillation. All ECG recordings, their classifications, the noted symptoms, they're all stored right in the health app in a PDF you can share with your doctor. So now your doctor has a detailed picture of your heart rhythm, similar to a lead one ECG that is usually only obtained in the clinic.